Are you trying to create the most irresistible podcast thumbnails that work? Let me help you. So when it comes to promoting your podcast and videos, you might think that it's all about crafting the perfect title, writing a compelling description, or even just investing in ads. But there is one crucial element that usually gets overlooked, and that is the podcast thumbnail, obviously. So that tiny little image has the power to make or break your podcast visibility and your listeners' engagement. It's a great thumbnail that can entice your listeners, boost your show's credibility, and even increase your engagement on platforms, things like Apple Podcasts, YouTube, Spotify. Then on the other hand, a basic thumbnail can doom your content to obscurity in the ether. So why do a lot of podcasters and video makers struggle to make eye-catching video thumbnails that actually attract potential listeners? Well, for starters, designing a thumbnail takes a unique blend of creativity, technical skills, and understanding your target audience. It's not just about slapping some text over an image. There's a lot of psychology involved in creating an image that resonates with your ideal listener. Also, a lot of content creators are not designers by trade, so they might not know where to start or how to use design tools effectively. So let's be real. It is hard to stand out in a crowded podcast or video landscape where everyone is fighting for attention. Even me. Another problem is content creators face the sheer quantity of thumbnails that they have to create. There's new episodes coming out regularly. It can be overwhelming to come up with fresh and engaging ideas and designs so that we can capture the essence of every episode. Not to mention that different platforms have got different image dimensions and requirements, so that can add to the complexity of the whole process. No wonder so many podcasters end up using the same thumbnail template for every episode, or worse, neglecting to optimize their thumbnails altogether. And then to make it even worse, there's a lot of conflicting advice out there about what makes a great podcast or video thumbnail. I'm probably contradicting somebody else's video. So if you use to use bright colors or play it safe with neutral tones, do you use the host's face or do you highlight the episode's topic? It's easy to get lost in all that noise and end up the thumbnail that's either too busy or just too boring. So let's dive into the key elements that makes the thumbnail really irresistible. First, there's the color scheme. Are you using colors that evoke emotions and grab attention? Or are you playing it safe with bland colors that blend into the background? Next, there's typography. Are you using fonts that resonate with your target audience? Or are you sticking to default fonts that lack personality? Finally, there's imagery. Are you using images that tell a story, evoke emotions, or create curiosity? Or are you relying on blank stock photos that don't add any value? When it comes to colour schemes, me, I'm a big fan of bold and bright colours that pop against a busy background. So you might want your thumbnail to stand out, not blend in. For typography, it's all about choosing fonts that reflect your podcast's personality and the tone. Are you serious and informative, or are you light-hearted and humorous? Your font choices should reflect those. When it comes to imagery, I always say that less is more. Simple, high-quality image that tells a story or evokes emotions. It's far more effective than a cluttered thumbnail with too many elements competing for attention. I like a good image though. Next, let's walk through a step-by-step -step process for creating a captivating thumbnail that grabs attention and entices your listeners. So the first step is to choose a design tool that works for you. So it might be Canva or Adobe Creative Cloud or even a simple graphic design app on your phone. The key is to find a tool that you're comfortable with, something that allows you to focus on the whole design process. Once you've got your tool, it's time to brainstorm your idea. So what's the main topic of your episode? What emotions do you want to evoke in your listeners? From there, it's all about execution. Choose the right colors, the typography and imagery that bring your design to life. As well as the bright and bold colors, I like to use the same fonts and then I simply change the images and the words depending on what the episode's about. So don't be afraid to experiment and try out different combinations until you find one that resonates with your target audience. And finally, make sure you're optimizing your thumbnail for different platforms, whether it's, like I said, Apple Podcasts, YouTube or Spotify, or maybe you're putting these videos on your own website. 
So by following those simple steps and focusing on the key elements that makes a thumbnail irresistible, you can then create thumbnails that drive engagement, grow your podcast to the next level. Remember, your thumbnail is often your first impression that listeners will or viewers will have of your video or your podcast. So make it count. So let's wrap it up. Creating compelling podcast thumbnails is crucial to grow your audience and increase your engagement. Understand the psychology behind effective thumbnails, overcome those common challenges, and follow a good step-by-step design process that you can create your thumbnails that stand out and drive the results that you want. Take some time to play around, make your best branding decisions for yourself so that you also have consistency in the designs that you're putting out. If you are feeling inspired to create your own irresistible podcast thumbnail, share your designs with me in the comments below. And if you want to learn more about promoting your podcast and growing your audience, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Check out my other videos on effective podcasting and content creation strategies. Thank you all for watching. I will see you all next time. Take care. Bye.